I am requested to tell you more. Okay, so one of the aspects what makes like, for example, Palche, or maybe all the areas, I don't know, I, I, I have to look into it. But right now as I listen to Palche, what makes it so very special is that I do something what nobody has ever done, and that is I have an amazing range of pianofortes. Constantly I'm playing around it's like when you drive a car and you accelerate from zero to 100 miles, constantly back and forth, back and forth. But as you drive, you have to push the pedal. It just doesn't go all by itself. Now, if I sing a note in piano or forte, it's almost like going from zero to 100 or to any number in between. And every step, if it's piano a little bit louder, a little bit louder, a little bit louder, or not that loud, requires a fine tuning. Like when pianos need to be tuned there's a special person coming and he spends like hours on end maybe even days to fine tune all the strings of the piano it's a special person like a very specialized ear or maybe it's not even the ear they have an instrument in order to tighten the strings to the way they have to be it's a very delicate procedure and often I spend years on end to find a tuning now when I sing piano or me- mezzo forte or forte or anything in between, all of these is like a string by itself, which requires a very special tuning, all of them. So that what takes people to do like 10 years to even grasp the concept. I do not one. I do like a hundred of them each time I sing any note because I go constantly back and forth, which makes it amazingly rich which my iPhone cuts out, you can't hear it in the recording, because the iPhone adjusts to the one temperature, to the one range, and that's about that. Now, I just jumping in joy as I do so, because I'm just like, I hüpf, <laughs> I'm like a little girl, <laughs> inside myself, I'm like a little girl jumping up and down, seriously, like a tiny baby hang stump, <laughs> joy, how great it feels, because it's like the clef key like that little thing which looks so weird the g key la clave del sol like the thing which goes round round up and down well that's how the notes feel constantly so i'm like super playful with it and it makes it amazingly rich and of course it's difficult but well i'm trained like i said i've been training myself to do so and i'm just used to pay amazing attention because that's what it is I have to pay amazing attention to what I do. I have to have the muscles in the right place, the breathing in the right place, not to never get out of tune, which is one of the other amazing things. So there's a lot of great achievements here. Ha! Huh. Explain it. I have to explain it. Okay, see if I can. <laughs> I can beat the system here, that little apple thing. The thing is, usually people would just sing one little thing. Right? And I do... And one note. And that sounds like. So to speak. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's recorded. Just making a point, I exaggerated that. And it's like. It's like the wave. It's like the ocean coming in constantly while keeping everything in the movement because singing opera is keeping things in movement. It's like constantly moving things around. It's like wind blowing in the voice constantly. That's what a great opera voice does. Moving in, moving in. Even if the notes seem to you like it's only just one long note. What makes the great voice is to constantly moving it forward. It's like pushing, a, like playing hoops. 
I'm constantly pushing the ball back in the 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 back. That's how I I manage my breath when I sing any note. You hear this? It's back in the back in the back in the back in the back. That's like it's like exercise. It's like athlete. Just I don't know. Just giving you a little bit of the inside of talk. Yeah, I hear all sorts of nice words. I don't want to say yeah, amazing and bravo and blue and absolute. Yeah, how nice. <laughs> well, hopefully you can actually enjoy it. That would be nice. Yeah, it's like a magistry. Like I said, it's a great supermarket of a lot of things going on here. How nice is that? Ah, and what I didn't say, I forgot to mention, I wasn't really planning on it. <laughs> I wasn't really planning. I was not planning on it. I tell you, I tell you that once I made a choice, I do something with an aria. When I first learned it, that you can actually do stuff with an aria. Yeah, I heard it one singer because none, no one ever did that. None, not Maria Callas. Okay, yes, she did a little bit of that, but this was another singer who did one thing, and I was inspired by this one thing, and like two hundred other famous singers that never do any of that. So I looked. Oh wow, I can do that. That was just in the beginning. So I focus on that thing and it became natural to me. So any of the things I do, all that shit I pull out here, it just kind of comes natural in my musicality. It's like, I'm just going to go, because I like swimming, I go and dive into that thing. Yeah, and keep myself afloat, so to speak, right? Because if you don't move your body in the water, you drown. And that's pretty much how love is. Yeah, I love making, but love too. You kind of move in the water and you move forward with your attention to your partner. So you don't allow your partner to drown ever. Yes, that's love. Is it love what I'm feeling? La 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 la. Oh, 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 oh,